Isaiah McGee owned this property here. He was a sharecropper. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Tyler McGee lives on the street named after his grandfather. It's really important to my father because uh, my father actually went to that school. Just across the way, Tyler's father, Alvin, attended New Hope Negro School as a child. Over the years, the now abandoned building has served as a library, offices, even a home. When the building was first moved in 1972, it cost $1,600 to move it the three-tenths of a mile to this site. Now facing another move, Charlotte Holt says developers Packlet and Milliken are looking to clear the land and build a mixed-use complex. It will cost thousands to move power and phone lines to make way for the old schoolhouse to move back to its original home next to New Hope Baptist Church. That kind of history is something, especially in today's political and, and social climate, it's not something that we should have bulldozed. We should restore it and we should display it and it can serve to educate again. The city of Clemson is also working to keep this historical building standing. We don't know our history or the history that was told to us was one sided. Here's an opportunity to tell the whole picture. Packlet Milliken was supposed to demolish the building last week, but it's giving the community time to plan, fundraise, and do what's necessary to save the old schoolhouse. We're not out of the woods, but I think there's a, a good deal of hope that we're going to get this, this done. There's new hope <laughs> that we're going to get this done. Uh, history is important, and, uh, and I think it's important that we, that we have something like this that we can honor and share and look back to and, and have as, as something that you know, other generations in the future can come and look to. Joe Ripley, WYFF News 4, Clemson.